So let's do day three of Advent of Code. I actually already done the first part when I realized I wasn't recording correctly. So I will just uh, redo what I was doing before so I can show you how I uh, solved the first part. So first part of the problem is to find <coughs> multiplications in a program of a, a corrupted computer. And we have uh, multiplication instructions that look like this, which is mal uh, parentheses x comma y comma uh, parentheses. So this is exactly the format and x and y are one, two, three digit numbers. That's very important. We need to match those exactly. So it does, it has to look exactly like this. It has to be like this. It doesn't, any other uh, thing that happens in that string is incorrect. So we need to make sure that it exactly matches this, this formula. So what I was doing is I went to regex 101, which is a very useful tool for testing regular expressions. And then I wrote the expression there. So uh, here you can test your regular expressions and verify them before actually using them in your programs. Very useful tool. So what I will do here is I will do D one, two, three. So we'll uh, match one to three occurrences of a digit and the same thing here, one to three and then parentheses. So this is matching what I need and I will also actually do capture group so I can actually capture the numbers themselves so I can easily multiply them when I need to. So this is my regular expressions that I will use. So I will take it and then here uh, let's do a generated regex. The pattern will be this and I will name it uh, public uh, partial regex regex so something like this uh, yes and so what is it complaining now yeah it's Public static, let's do it static, yes. Okay, so we have now regular expression and now let's actually use it. So I will use text, text data input, so I will do input read to end and then I will do matches. So it's gonna be exactly this. And now for each match in matches, I will actually have a total. Just will be our sum of the multiplications, and I will do uh, total. Oh, actually, uh, x will be the first number, y will be the second group that is matched. Uh, so, match. Right, so it matches, and now we will do total plus equals x multiplied by y and return a total two string. And I think that should be enough. So let's test it. I will test it against the sample input. So this is a sample input here. And hopefully it's 161. And when I test it against a full input, it's this result, which is what passed uh, as the correct result of this part of the problem. So that's the first part of the problem solved. And now let's go to part two, which I haven't tried yet. So it's gonna be more interesting. So uh, as we are scanning the corrupted memory, we notice that some of the conditional statements are also still intact. So uh, we have to handle conditional statements now. And there is do instruction that enables future multiple instructions and don't instruction that disables them. So we need to make sure that only the recent do or don't instructions apply. At the beginning, instructions are enabled. So now we're, we're also looking for don'ts and do's in the expression. So let's do that. Do or don't actually does it work like right? that? I'm not sure completely. Okay.
I would li like to like have a have a group. So so regex or actually I and what I can do to make it easier, I can do a separate separate instruction for don't and uh, for this and actually do this optionally. So um Actually, yeah, I want to do all right. So I, I will match separately do and don'ts. So let's do this way. So do. So this will match do's. There's a way to to or to separate to make multiple things, but I will do it in a simpler way because I don't exactly remember how it's done. So let's do do. So that should be it, I think. Yeah. So and generate a regex for don't and that's gonna be don't just like that right yeah so that's actually I can copy that don't make static partial regex X and now we need to see the indices of the matches and then Use them to see if it's uh, if the instructions are enabled or disabled. So, R is enabled. True. At the beginning, it's enabled. And we do do matches and don't matches. And we we should uh, kind of merge them. Uh, do indices. It's going to be yeah, exactly and don't indices. And we merge them. Actually, yeah, exactly. You can merge them like this, and the good thing is now that we can, we can, we can do two array actually. So we can we can actually go through the matches, and your current x is zero, and we can actually see. Uh, if we if the enabling changes between matches, so our uh, match index, and we can see if if match index is greater than uh, well, actually, if uh, next index is if match index is greater than the next instructions index, then we uh, check if the instruction is a do or don't instruction. And actually, oh, right, we need to make sure that we know if it's a do or don't, right? So, so we actually can, but like do and don't, won't be on the same index, never. So we need, we can actually do this pretty safely. Oh, this is not a, it's part two, right? I uh, miscopied. <laughs> so uh, this is part two. Uh, so we can actually check if, if it's actually in the do indices or don't. So if, uh, and we can check, we have to also check is less than merged C 
is count. So if it's uh, a length, so if the next index is lower than the next uh, than the length of the array itself, and that if it is, and it, then if the match index is greater than the index of the of the enabling instruction, and if it is, then we check is don't, uh, and we check if it contains that index. And if it's don't, then we set enable. To oh, actually, if it's do is easier. So if it if it's do, then we set enable to do, and otherwise it must be a don't instruction. So this should be it. Now we in increase the next index, and then we do this. If uh, is enabled, then we add or don't add to the total, and that should be hopefully it. Now let's uh, let's verify that. I'll run the second part with this data, and it's still one hundred sixty-one, which is not right. Let's see what happens if I put a breakpoint here and put it here's the test data. So. Uh, so this didn't match anything for some reason. So I didn't copy things correctly, I guess. Test data. Oh, the test data is different in this second part, it seems. So I do... Data txt. I hope this part of my program works. I haven't tested actually if uh, I can nest this data and should be hopefully working. But so let's see. Uh, do this data and we have some indexes. Yes. So now it should be doing something different and it's 48, which seems correct. So let's try against the big input. Test data. All right, and I can pick my input file and let's run it. So this is the result now, and that is correct. Okay, so and uh, that we solved day three of an event of code. Uh, it was mostly about regexes this time, but it's a good good uh, refresher on how to use them correctly. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I will do another video as usual on ChatGPT doing this problem. We'll see. I think it should be uh, quite easy for ChatGPT this time, but we will see. So see you in the next video.